Hello students, welcome back to the biology class. So in the last class we did the chapter number 8 and we discussed the topic of human health and diseases and under this we finished the topic of smoke or otherwise cigarette smoking or the tobacco abuse in the last class. We understood from the NCRT that the NCRT says that the drugs are defined as the chemicals which once taken will alter the body's function for a person. It could be, it could be used in a non-medical purpose or it could be used in an amount, strength or manner or frequency that will bring a change in the physical, mental functioning and it is called as a drug abuse. Uh, the drug is called as a use when it is used for the medical purpose in, in the case of a disorder or an injury. The term abuse with respect to the drug basically means non-prescribed use, non-medical use as well as use for some pleasure which could be a temporary effect. We learned that from the NCRT that the drugs which are commonly abused are opioids, cannabinoids and coca alkaloids and majority of them are obtained from the flowering plants and some are obtained from the fungi. So we learned this chart in the last class that there are plants like poppy, there are plants like hemp tea, coffee, cocoa and then coca plants from which these are the plants from where various types of drugs are obtained and these drugs are either narcotic uh, otherwise uh, they are even uh, analgesic in nature along with some of them are hallucinogenic and some are stimulant a strong stimulant or a weak stimulant and uh, as per the NCRT there are fungi also which from which we obtain drugs so we, we learned two examples in the last class. One is the claviceps purpurea uh, of Ascomycetes. Uh, the fruiting bodies are called as the irgut fungi and the fruiting bodies of this plant, uh, this fungus provide us LSD or lysergic acid diethylamide which is a strong hallucinogenic agent. And then in the same manner we have the Mexican mushroom, the Psylocyb mexicana which belongs to the Basidiomycetes and its fruiting bodies are used for obtaining the drugs and the drug component present in it is called as psilocybin. It is also a strong hallucinogenic agent. We learned in the last class that the analgesic drugs are those which are painkillers. Stimulants are those which make our body systems alert and more active. And then hallucinogenic uh, drugs are those which give us the false perception, false feeling or illusions. So the person seems to be seeing something or hearing something which basically does not exist. Uh, we understood the topic of uh, tobacco addiction in the last class. We understood that tobacco is obtained from the Nicotiana tobacum plant also called or the other species is Nicotiana uh, rustica which belongs to the Solanaceae family and has a South American origin. We learned in the last class that the tobacco addiction or, or abuse is done with the help of smoking, chewing or snuffing and there is a strong alkaloid present in the tobacco which is called as nicotine and it is a tranquilizer because it gives the feeling of calmness to the body who consumes it and uh, apart from tranquilizing activity it even is a stimulant so it will quickly cause the release of adrenal adrenaline hormone and CRT even says nor adrenaline hormone from the adrenal gland and this brings a uh, quick uh, increase in the BP of the person who consumes or uh, smokes the tobacco or cigarette and uh, it also brings up the heartbeat rate also so uh, overall the body's activity and alertness increases but but this uh, this effect is a temporary one there are greater side effects and bad effects on the long run though for those who are chain smokers the first of the effect we learned was that the side effect includes infertility in the case of male and even uh, the tobacco or nico, uh, nicotine has a teratogenic uh, activity because it can cause or it can lead to the abnormal fetus development in case if the lady is pregnant and is a tobacco addict. The, if, uh, it also has a compound which is called as the carbon monoxide uh, which uh, reduces the oxygen hemoglobin uh, binding efficiency so oxyhemoglobin formation decreases this brings problem with the breathing because a person 
uh, body cells do not get sufficient amount of oxygen to perform aerobic respiration and uh, we learned that as per we have learned in the 11th class the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve uh, in in the case of uh, uh, cigarette sm uh, smoking people shifts towards the left and then we also learned that there are complications which arise due to smoking for example uh, oral cancer <coughs> oral cancer throat cancer lung cancer this all happens because of the irritating substance which are present in the smokes for example the benzpirin and then we learned that because the uh, the nicotine causes increase in the bp as well as the heartbeat rate so this can lead to later in the ages uh, the cardiovascular diseases we also understood that it also causes uh, smokers cough that is called as a bronchiitis in which the mucous membrane of the bronchi bronchi uh, bronchii and bronchioles undergo irritation so this irritation causes continuous cough that is called as a smoker's cough and we also learned as per the as per the ncrt of the 11th class mentioned that it also leads to emphysema emphysema is a damage which is done to the to the alveolar surface and it becomes fibrous it becomes uh, impervious to the gases to go through so the gas exchange surface area decreases and this is called as emphysema we also understood that uh, those uh, who are active smoker they can they and they even indulge in hookah smoking which is called as hubble bubble it is possible that by sharing the pipes bacterial infection may spread with the person who is sharing the hookah with each other and that uh, leads to the pulmonary tuberculosis uh, the smoke also uh, causes irritation in the eyes uh, which is called as the ocular burning and that is possible to both active smokers as well as the passive smokers we understood in the last class that passive smoking uh, smokers are those who sit or be along with the or in the vicinity of the persons who are actively smoking and uh, we understood that 31st of may is con considered or observed as a anti tobacco day and that government has done a lot of things uh, regarding controlling the uh, use of tobacco by uh, by mandate by making a mandatory statutory warning on the packets of the cigarettes uh, so that people start learning about it how bad is this uh, is the tobacco addiction